Hello friends, this video sets part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1 to part 4. Now let's talk about equal sets. What are equal sets? Two sets A and B, two sets A and B are said to be equal if they have exactly same element. And then we say A is equal to B as we should have. Otherwise A is not equal to B. Let me again repeat the definition. Two sets A and B are equal if they have exactly the same element. Then we say both the sets are equal. Let's take some examples. A is 1, 2, 3, 4. B is 3, 1, 2, 4. Then we say A is equal to B. Why? Because we know that in roster form, the order doesn't matter. And if you see, first let's compare the number of elements. Number of elements in A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Distinct element. And number of elements in B is equal to 4. This is the step 1. If the number of elements are same, then there is a chance that they are equal. Then we will go for step 2. If the number of elements are not same, that means it is not equal set. We can ignore it. Now since the number of sets are same, now we will go to the step 2. This is step 1 and this is step 2. So in step 2 what we do, we compare the elements. So we see element 1 is here in set A, element B is also in set A. Element A has 2. B also has 2. Element A has 3. B also has 3. Element A has 4. B also has 4. Similarly, we will do the other way around mapping also. B has 3. A has 3. One, B has 1. A has 1. B has 2. A has 2. B has 4. A has 4. So we see in both the sides, mapping is correct. That means all the elements which are in A, are also elements in B. Similarly, all the elements which are in B are also in A. And since the number of elements in A and B are same, we can say that both are equal. Let's repeat what I have told once again. Let's repeat what I have said. Two sets A and B are equal if they have exactly same elements. Then we say A is equal to B. Else A is not equal to B. So step 1, you check the number of elements. If the number of elements in both the sets are same, then you go for step 2. In step 2, you check the elements, actual elements. All the elements which are in A should be part of B and all the elements which are B should be part of A. If that is true, both the sets are equal. To clear our concepts, let's find the pair of equal sets. So these are sets given, set A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sets and we have to find the equal sets. To do that, let's first convert everything in roster form. First is convert to roster form. So we'll say A, A is equal to x square minus 2x minus 15. So when, when we solve this equation, what we get x square minus 5x plus 3x minus 15 is equal to 0 x into x minus 5 plus 3 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 3 and 5 so I'll, I'll write set a has element minus 3 comma 5 similarly for set b it sets it sets the letter of alloy so we'll say b has element a l o y Similarly for C, is the set of letter loyal, L, O, Y, A. L is already there, so we will not consider it. D is, it says X is greater than 5, less than 5, greater than 15. So there is no element actually, because if it is greater than 15, so we have something called 16, 17, 18. But again, we are saying less than 5, so there is no element. So D is equal to 5. There is no element in D. Similarly, E, X minus 5 is equal to 0. So that means X is equal to 5. So E has element 5. 
for f it says x square is equal to 25 that means x is equal to plus minus 5 because 5 square is equal to 25 so f will have element minus 5 comma 5 and g is already in roster form has the element 0 now we see then we observe that b and c when you see a let's say a a is minus 3 5 is there any other set which is minus 3 5 no so a is not equal to any other set b b has element a l o y is there any other element with any other set which is element only a l o y so when we see c c has element l o y a and that is a l o y and element count is also same so we will say b is equal to c also we will see d e f none of these are equal to b so b and c is done now let's take d d has zero element phi so now let's see is there any other set which has zero element no z has an element called zero it is not having zero element so there is no other set which is empty let's take e e is having five is there any set which is five I think I did a mistake here. See, that's what normal people do. X is a positive integer. So when we say X is positive, minus 3 is gone. Minus 3 is gone because minus 3 is not positive. So X is, has, has only one element. And E also has only one element. So we can say A is equal to E. And this set is equal to 5. And this set is equal to A, L, O, Y. Comma separated. It closes with a curly braces. I hope you got the point. Here a is equal to 5 by mistake because a is a positive integer. I ignored that. And now we have counted that also. So a has 5, a and e has both 5, and none other sets are equal. So the answer is b and c are equal because both have a l o y and a and e are equal because both have one element that is 5. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.